Hi there, I'm Mr. Z for the We Review Stuff channel. Uh, this is a channel that uh, talks about interesting softwares, useful softwares and tools you can use on business, for your business, and other stuff also. First, I need to read this so it will help me with the video SEO. In this uh, video, I'll be talking about the must-have <laughs> or the best AI content writing tools. Yeah, because you need the best content writing tools to help with your business. You know, because the best writing software is AI tools. <laughs> which may be softwares for Mac or iPad Pro, but not really, no. I, I only use uh, Windows. I have a laptop, but I don't use it. I only use the best writing software for authors, for the PC, no. Enough of that. No, actually, I'm gonna talk about the different uh, writing tools. No, I'm, I'm not using it this time, but maybe. Like article writing tools. Oh, zero. Like article writing tools and apps online. So, no, seriously, I'm being serious now. You can use any kind of uh, like mobile devices computer whatever so yeah I'm actually going to be using this as a like a mini tutorial also for uh, you know VAs and writers so I don't have to teach them anyway enough of that mm. this might show up first on my main channel so what you'll see on the actual channel, we review stuff channel. I don't know. I don't know what you'll see, but it will be cleaner. Anyway, I'm just gonna discuss the top tools, AI writing tools. And uh, also, there's a link there. <clears throat> uh, that link will have all these tools. Okay. I don't know which ones are affiliate links because they don't all have affiliate links you know some of them are some of them are uh, they're just there as links because they're freeloaders <laughs> no no but these are really my top tools I use them all the time so hmm, how do I start this so right now I have a problem so uh, I'm actually doing research because this uh, a lot of TikTokers have this problem. Oh shit, you can see it. But when you use a phone, it says account warning. So basically, I'm not getting any views anymore. If you have an account warning, you won't get any views. So it's much actually, even though I have that many followers, that sucks more than if I, I, if I created a new account, like from scratch. So that's how much TikTok sucks. Maybe I'll, ba I'll abandon it or something. This uh, channel. Oh, TikTok channel. Anyway. Hmm. So first. Now because I separate the tools, AI writing tools into, personally, two categories. By the way, I'm not an SEO. I used to be. But uh, I just don't kiss ass. You know. There's been a recent uh, update. So all you SEOs are fucked again. You know? All your content. So all those rankings. Because I've seen it over and over. Google enjoys destroying lives. That's really all it is. I've seen it like my, my friends who wrote simple blogs. They're not sophisticated. They're not internet marketers. They write good content. 
and Google just decided, oh, I don't like you peasants. You know, it should come from an authority site, like an easy in articles, you know, something big. So it's screwed, you know. Other sites are gone. It doesn't, it stopped ranking. Then, years later, Google came after those sites that used to rank, like easy in articles. So now, they're broke. Probably killed themselves or something. So yeah. I used to have, until I could do it, the only time I was an SEO was when Black Hat SEO, inter, an internet marketer. It's a different mindset. Doesn't mean illegal, okay? Just means you play not the numbers game. If you're doing one or two, five quality articles per day, I need to do 50. But it won't be that good. So that's the game. Uh, that's why... You know, these things help. We, we've always used automation, especially black hat marketers. We've always leveraged technology. It's always been like that. We uh, abhor manual labor. If you can avoid it, I mean. But yeah, anyway, I used to be, I used to have like 100% reliance on Google SEO for my traffic. Now, zero. Just zero. It do whatever you want so sorry seos but uh i get a chuckle out of knowing <laughs> like you're always in a you're always in a panic mode whenever because it happens like once a year or twice a year google updates algorithm so your sites you're always you know you don't know you don't know what's gonna happen next to your sites if it's gonna get zero traffic delisted whatever so your problem you cannot trust a dictator google is a dictator the only well google owns youtube which i like because you don't it doesn't really update algorithms much you know and b besides i still do seo but just not google i mean all platforms have seo like amazon for for you to rank there you know Wow, so not right now I'm ranting. This probably might be cut off from the final version. It depends on my level of laziness. So yeah, it's been how many minutes and I haven't even started. Oh my gosh, this might turn to 30 minutes. But anyway, Google has been a dictator. I've been in the game like 2007. It's always going to find ways to destroy lives. I've seen it over and over. I've been affected by it. 2012, which is how I became, a, you know, an author, you know, publisher, now a publisher. So that's a blessing in disguise because I had no choice. <laughs> anyway, let's disc. So coming back, I, I, dis I divide the tools into two. Yeah, I, I went on off on a t tangent again. Because there's the okay, you could you could look at it as an SEO because some of you some of you guys are an SEO. I'm not judging. You know, it's up to you. Do what you want. But uh, you can always just pay <laughs> PPC, pay per click, social media. Anyway, don't hate me or hate me. I don't care. So yeah, so it it turns out. The, these factual AI writers are also SEO tools. So that's the left, the other team. I, I consider I consider these tools as robots, you know, because I'm like Iron Man. That's why it's Iron Man. But with a Green Lantern because magical. Anyway. So AI writers. There's a general AI writer, which means it, it relies on its existing database. Billions and billions of, I don't know, data points. You know, GPT-3 and all that. Then there's the factual AI writers. So it, just, it doesn't just rely on that. It uh, gathers content. And it writes from that. That's the idea anyway. <laughs> I don't know if that's really what they're doing. But it seems to be doing that. 
That's why you tend to get really highly accurate stuff from the factual writers. Okay? So I can actually use them. Mm, I, I encourage my writers to use them also. But you can't rely on it. And what I've noticed is it, it, it lies le less than before. It used to be like it lies to its teeth, like really absolute, like Pinocchio. Really lies about everything. Now I notice it doesn't lie as much. You can, it's more trustworthy now. I don't know who updated what, but it's more accurate now in general. You could still spot some lies, but uh, that's why you need to fact check. But with the factual AI writers, you need to do that less, you know less not absolutely trust the ais but you need you you don't have to do it as much so okay let's, let's start with the factual ai writers just brief demo i'm not gonna go on so there i did a search this, this will go to my books <laughs> no I, I think i need to do it from scratch so for you to see it so again, uh, most people who use this, like maybe 99% of the time, are SEOs. Like they care about ranking their websites. I don't. But I do care about the facts. So most of, most of the guys I meet in the forums are SEOs. I don't know why they do it. Like, you know. But whatever floats your boat. So because my problem is how to remove account warning from TikTok. I'm gonna pause this. So it's doing its thing. So you see one AI writer is in them all, pretty much. I'm not um, I'm not gonna really go deep into this I'm just gonna assume that uh, you've used this or familiar at least with it but really for you to learn it you need to like get the experience I'm actually surprised uh, so many VAs weren't even aware of, of this technology like they do things by hand even clients like they're getting, they're charging, I mean, some VAs who, who know this are charging clients as if they're writing it from scratch. So let's see, uh, uh, this is an interesting thingy. So um, the purpose of that, top 10, right? This tool will try to model or see the things that make it work. It, it tries to find the patterns why why it ranks because you know there's something to learn from this because it's on the top 10 so there that's its real main purpose but because i use the tools differently because i'm not an seo i said so what i care about are the content here you know so if i were to because let's say i want to write the AI to write about, uh, let's say, uh, do you want uh, for TikTok account warning to go away? Or for example, because no, no, no. Okay, let's say I don't even know what mo MOBA game is, but let's say I I want to write about get removing the. TikTok warning on mobile games or something. I don't even know what that is. So I'm going to choose that. Which means this tool will gather or use use this specific article as context when it writes later on. So that's how I use it. It's up to you. You can, use, you can click as many articles you want. But that's how I use it. So next. So the only reason I'm showing this is because, you know, you see ones, you see them all. There's just tiny variations of, of that. So these are called NLPs. 
not neurolinguistic programming. I'm an, I'm from that world, but this is different. Natural language processing something. So it's saying that on the top ten or those things I you know I click I checked. These words appeared. So the word account warning for the top ten, let's say just top ten for the sake of brevity, it appears six to seventeen times in an article, really. So when you 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 write, oh let's use this blocked from. So let's say I'm writing blocked from some features. Let's say I use that in the article. Boom. I did I did not Photoshop this. It happened by magic. <laughs> but if I use let's say TikTok uh, there's a slight delay. Why did it well I because sometimes it just says like yellow you need to use it multiple times. I don't know. So there, if you can make it all green, then supposedly you'll look uh, prettier in the eyes of Google. Yeah. So that's it. That's one feature. Because, but I'm not gonna say it. So this is as an as a writer. This is actually an excellent writer. However, it doesn't have the frameworks yet so all you could do is like just just you have three options expand rephrase and start paragraph which is like the same but uh they're going to come up with the templates frameworks so there you can use high quality low quality so that's it you can come up with the headings h1 h2 subheadings is the english word for this you know, I'm not an SEO now, but I was. I will be again if it required less work. I have no problems. The idea of kissing ass to Google. You will, you will like what I do because I am God, you know. You have no choice. And you will still love me. You have no choice. But uh, don't get me wrong. When I when my end products are always like top notch. I well, I try to be. I try to make it high quality because when I what I mean is the paying customers. You know, because they're paying customers. I'm not right. I'm not writing for Google or a robot. You could say I could guess. Ah, sure in a sense but no not really i'm not begging for a sale if you bought my my shit i'll give you the best i can so there that's uh, pretty much the mentality of a black hat marketer now, you know we use technology a lot i don't know about them but if you kiss us you can't be a black hat <laughs> the whole point is you're the the rebel you know but every time the products need to be high quality, even if you're a black hat black hat marketer. So anyway, you've seen how it works, right? So you just keep on expanding it. It's the best. <laughs> yeah, you just keep on expanding it. But the quality is is top notch. I'm not reading it right now. But the the quality of this is top notch and accurate okay so now you see how it works it uh, just requires effort if you, if you don't like it generate again it does take some time but the quality is good I don't know. I don't know what it said. It's not always. It's not 100%. Sometimes you also need to change the, the prompt. Because these are prompts. 
you need to change the wording of this and you make it expand so okay that's the that's the first one that's this is actually the latest neuron this is uh no okay now because how do i explain this now let's start let's start with the first one because this for me this is the original phrase so this is an ai writer but there's an ex extra 30 dollars a month to have the ai features i don't have that however i have the i i still like it it's very it's unique so i i did a search earlier how to ride faster in cycling okay then this is what i like about this there it gives you the the headings of different articles you can just steal uh, i mean uh borrow what you like and plagiarize uh, i mean uh rephrase <laughs> rephrase what you like so that's how it works you can rearrange it so they don't catch on that it's stolen let's see it's just how it works now but for content research it's really great uh there's no alternative to this i love it i love phrase phrase the reason why I discontinued the AI writing aspect I wasn't impressed plus I already have a lot of writers why why do I need to pay extra 20 if you have the discount 20 17 dollars a month because no it's 35 dollars 35 dollars but since we got we had the discount offer but I kept it like a year or something or six months so this is a great feature you can assemble a, a really so for example I, I have the you know someone were to write about biking so there, there are many aspects to it right and th th this you, you could get to you get to assemble the idea there so I just assembled the idea now it's gonna be really it might not be enough on its own because not all information is on the internet it's really it's really great at that if you had the ai writer it will write from that supposedly but uh, as i've said the quality is not good for me for an seo yes okay i need to justify what i said uh because i write for people for humans by the way the recent google update supposedly blesses or rewards the content written specifically for humans well because i write for books i'm not i'm just gonna spin it of course i'm not gonna i'm not gonna write specifically for for that i'm gonna spin you know who cares what google thinks anyway uh so there that's how it works it also has some 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 of those nlp things oh, i can summarize but uh i think it's in the optimize yeah so it, it also shows you in a different uh layout or different ways because i never bothered to use that because i'm not you know what it is odd uh, scores whatever so those are its seo features this is actually meant for seos i think seo first and content writers second so that's how it works but i need to justify what i said earlier so I said it's good enough for SEOs, not good enough for books or something. I copy pasted this to show you an example. 
what it, because you know I don't hire web content writers for a reason they they brag about oh I'm very experienced as a writer for when they say a web content writer boom I can like a high percentage are gonna be disqualified uh, let me show you like this for example now nah, but because I'm doing research for personal juice how to fix an account warning on TikTok okay so there you explained it you repeated it again you know a lot of redundancies and let me show you what Grammarly thinks there I copy pasted it 32 overall score the fuck is that you know when I do books it's always in the 90 98 99 and still crap it's still crap 90 99 this is 32 that's the end product so there it's stupid a lot a lot a lot of wordy you know these long words repetitive redundancies if you see my post on forums, it's filled with grammar mistakes, spelling errors. I don't bother to check that. Why? Why would I? To impress? Impre you're not a paying customer. You know, I'm not going to run it to, through, uh, through that thing. But anyway, 32. That's uh, disrespectful, actually. That's really disrespectful. 32? You know, that's like my worst is so there that's web content writing for you in a nutshell it doesn't work for book writing you know that for me the two kinds of high high level writing is like books technical you know technical writing i'm not familiar with that and copywriting that i'm familiar with that's that's my training copywriting Oh, by the way, article writers call themselves copywriters, which is fucking annoying. You're not a fucking copywriter. You write a web copy or an article, and that doesn't make you a copywriter. It's a different thing. It's salesmanship on print. So there, another... And they don't even know because maybe their employers told them they're copywriters. No, it's, it's a different thing. I got annoyed explaining the difference it's uh when you can anyone can write a web web content you know but you can't just do a sales letter that requires like hundreds of hours a lot of experience a lot of training there a lot of psychological principles why why would you you don't have the bragging rights so no but they don't know they don't they just don't know the difference so it's not cop don't call call yourselves copywriters that's content writer that's the proper term Content writing, no problems with that. Uh, and that's why I cannot be an influencer because I'm not, uh, I say it like it is. But maybe when you see the final product, final video, it will all be cut out. I'll be like a lamp. Anyway, so this is Word Tune, another necess absolutely necessary tool. So this one, if you don't have Grammarly, this also has that function. This is like really super amazing. A necessary tool. Uh, its its main purpose is to find alternative words. You know, rephrases things. There's a cheaper alternative which sucks. Quillbot. Because sometimes this is buggy, so I use that instead. Or like if you need to like rewrite. A whole article is stolen you can do you can use this because it only processes one paragraph or one sentence one sentence at a time so you need quillbot or a spin rewriter that's the brand name spin rewriter or word ai that's old technology black hat world that's from our side of the the fence
mostly black hats. It's a black hat tool, I guess. So there. It uh, no, it's like this. You do that, it, it corrects. This is one of the things, also hard to exp that uh, commonly uh, comes up. Uh, they say Wordchain is alter alternative to Grammarly. Mm, if you need to only have one, then choose Wordchain, but it's not. So this also corrects grammar, but this is more for making uh, the, the art the, the text sound more human, better. That's why it's you know finessing the the words makes it sound perfect. You're writing for humans. While Grammarly, this is for me. It's it's not about grammar checking per se. This is about sharpening things. Uh, like this, let's say. Although sure, probably it's grammatically correct, but it will sharpen it. This is what this is. This is a sharpening tool. That's it, a sharpening tool. Like that. That that's why our web content writing, like that, it can't be books. Because uh, I you know I've had a ton of complaints, too wordy, repetitive, redundancies, grammar errors. I I I've gotten them all. From books, book reviews. My books, you know, they buy it, they complain. Make re book reviews, you know, it destroys sales. I don't give a shit. I will just unpublish, then republish. That's how it works. Or you can listen and actually fix it, which I do. But uh, it depends. It depends how many, because those negative reviews are damaging. And even if you use this, it's not going to be enough. Even if you poured your heart and soul into it. There are some assholes, grammar Nazis, which I'm not. I'm not a grammar Nazi. I just need to be to produce the quality they expect. You know, not for, but I don't write for grammar Nazis. For me, it's, it's perfectly correct, grammatically correct. For Grammarly, it thinks it's grammatically correct. But still, there's, they, they still find holes for some reason. Sometimes uh, I just tell them, well, well, go write your own book. <laughs> you know too much. Why don't you just go write your own book? Yeah, I, 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 but uh, I, I, I stopped doing that because I might get banned. But no, really, negative reviews do a lot of damage. That's why I don't show my books to, let's say, marketers or, or friends. No, I don't show it to them. It causes damage. They can damage it. Where am I? Grammarly word chain explained, okay? Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm missing scale nut. Well, let's go back to the factual AI writers. So scale nut, this is a new feature. It creates uh, topics. I think this was the search term. Oh, cool. 31 million. There is 31 million. So that's a search term. Herbal medicine. So these are the topics people are searching for about the topic. There's a separate product that concentrates on just creating topics. Can you guess the name? So these are the questions people are asking about it and trending topics searches and i wish i can show a sample where's the sample i made one there, there, there's there has to be one pause so here i'm i'm try, i'm just gonna try to find people what people are asking the specific terms this this is my my keyword stupid Stupid keyword. <laughs> How do I know what to do? 
No, uh, the purpose of that is when you use tools like AI writers. It will, it will, you know, the H1, the H2 earlier. Where was that? Like this one? You write the... Uh, how do I know what to do? So that's the H1. It's going to write stuff from it. So that's how scale not works also. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the... It's main, like, superpower. So it can create content briefs. But this is the, the its superpower. I don't want to show it. It's, uh, it's, I don't have the credits. I'm just going to show um, a ready-made. Ready-made. Oh yeah, that's the frameworks. Wow, oh, it's taking longer than I thought. This might become an hour. So let so no no no. Yeah, I think so. This. So there, you put the thingy. It it came up with the. You choose the which 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 headings make it to the uh, final article. Then it creates the the whole thing. So this is like the automated uh, neuron. You know, whereas you have to put it manually, the subtopics, then you need to write. Another thing about this, so, like a commitment, it will, this, this is, uh, where is that? Creating, find topics for this content. So that's going to be the headings, like that. And you just need to expand on each one. You know, just expand on it. Or find the questions about it. Write about this content, like that. One by one, if you need to do it like that. Or you could use the, the frameworks. You know, these are templates, frameworks. So it's going to create a product description style. You know, it just works like that. So that's the purpose of this. So it finished uh, doing the research on a stupid question. It managed to find questions on a stupid question. So there. Uh, because this is also for brainstorming, like you don't know a topic well or you want to know it better, like uh, I don't know, like vaping, who knows, like maybe because I see this as a way to, as an alternative to smoking, let's say, but maybe some people like see it as an alternative to, to that thing that looks like this, that gives the women pleasure, maybe, I don't know, because what we know is, isn't everything, it's not entirely the whole picture, so we get to see how other people interact with the concept. What what are the questions? What kinds of content they produce? Quora. So that's that's the, it works like that. You can also just copy paste that into the AI writer and expand on it. So that's how it works. You can build a topic, you know, build the the skeleton of a of a subject matter. You know, based on their questions and the topics, what what people are talking about. <clears throat> So that's how it works. Okay, very clear, clear. Oh yeah, before I forget. Uh, although I can write that in one in one go. The, re the reason why I like scale not is really for this. It's the only one who can do this. So by the way, that's the TikTok article. Repetitive TikTok article, right? Yeah, the only one who has this. Oh, by the way, WordTune. Uh, this, this has WordTune. This has Grammarly. You know, 
Wordtune on Google Docs is different from Wordtune on the editor I showed earlier. To get all those features, you need to put that in on the editor. Okay, Grammarly also. The features, all the features are, are on the editor. As a plugin, it's different. I have one more to, uh, I forgot to say about, uh, to talk about. Oh yeah. So in case you guys run into a problem, you will if you use Google Docs. This is a bug. Use uh, 1.5. Line paragraph 1.5 or double. Because they're too, you know, bunched up together. They uh, is uh, having problems <clears throat> separating the terms. So anyway, this is the feature. So it's like three robots working on one article. That, like that, you saw it. They're competing against each other. And this this one even has a Quillbot. So yeah. So you want to expand on it, let's say it's too thin. I don't want to use a, a separate, I don't want to use like a phrase which would take time to do the research on neuron. I just need to expand on it. Sp uh, AI expand. Oh, but. So there, I just logged in. It, uh, it's now longer. You can ask it to rewrite again. It really takes a long time. There. So now it's better, longer. So from this, it, it, it became longer. That's, that's its superpower. Um, if, you, if, you don't, if you don't mind copy pasting it to the tool, then you can do that too. So there. Uh, covered that. Since we're already here, let's do closer copy. So now we're gonna go to the general AI writers, but this one is the hybrid in between. It kind of do, it kind of does factual writing too. Like for ex for example, this one, how to make viral post. So exactly the same idea as a uh, neuron, like you choose, but this one you don't have a choice. Top five. Now it will it will add. I'll just show you a few inches later. Three hours later. No. Why hello there? You kind of look familiar. Come here often. Looks familiar. Like neuron, right? I don't know if this one updates in real time. It doesn't. It doesn't. Last time it did. So there. You need to. When, if you're gonna write about the topic, you need to. No, ideally, not you need to. Ideally, you need to use that. Exactly like neuron. So there. So it's kind of a hybrid. It's not really meant for that. It's a general AI writer. So it has a lot of frameworks. You, oh, you can also create your own models your your own style you make that into AI writing later on we'll get to that the main tool for that is Riku AI it has a lot of libraries there not gonna show that it's new f oh yeah workflow the equivalent of this is chaining so it's like chaining multiple frameworks so it does it automatically so for step one, we're going to do a blog post introduction. You can choose any. For step two, it chose this specific framework. Step three, that. Okay, that's how it works. Uh, where's the new one? Drafts, this one. So how it works? Uh, let me come up with the topic. I'm not 100% uh, skilled in, in using this feature, but you need to h1 this, heading 1. 
I still make mistakes doing this. I'm not sure if it's even gonna generate the content. So H2, I get confused doing this. Then, because we're in the drafts, uh, just one word, right? This is to help the AI. Let me let me answer this. Or if this is optional. Oh, the other ones are optional. Okay. Mm, assassin, probably. Because really, oh no, funeral service. Right. I was thinking if it's an international word. I think that is enough to work. Did it work? Oh, oh yeah, wait. It complained about something. I think it's this one. It, uh, I just need to remove that. So there's an excess. Let's try it. There you go. Ah, it's gonna take a while. N not really, a few minutes. So in terms of quality, uh, sure, it's good, good enough, but it's not 100%. It's not like, like right now, my, t my top two is uh, creator, text builder also, oh, they're real good. Also, you know, neuron as a writer, it's good. Scale not as a writer, uh, maybe a, a, around the same level as closer copy because they're using hybrid engines different ai engines so let's see the results so basically you can write you know in just one go there Mm, there, you judge for yourself. But then I gave like sh shitty nonsense. So you can't blame the tool for that. Just uh, hold on, special. Okay. That's why I love it. Funerals are held on special occasions such as birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, and weddings. Really? A funeral is where the family members... Is that really a celebration of life? Furnace or... So there, that's how it works. Just uh, wanted to show that to you. It's got a lot of... Uh, Features, rewrite. Oh, by the way, as a rewriter, I think th this, well, Text Builder claims to be able to do 3,000 words in one go, but uh, I've tested it, it doesn't work yet. This one can do like 200 words in one go. Let's see. It's, let, let's see uh, the point it will complain. Rewrite. Right click, rewrite. Oh, I didn't complain. So, if you want to rewrite and you don't, if you don't want to use Quillbot, this is a good rewriter also. So there, it gives you three options. Now, let's see, I will, I will show you. It will complain. It, it has a limit. It can do unlimited. Huh? It still didn't complain. Oh, there you go. 200 words maximum. Uh, I guess it also has a con content improve. I like that. Uh, I use that. Just not here. <laughs> Sometimes I do. I did. But creator is superior. Well, it's just superior in writing. The quality of writing. That's why it's my go-to general AI writer. It doesn't mean I don't use this. 
this is this has a lot of uses still the thing is a lot of these tools is hard to put into words you need to experience them for yourself like creator is about the same level as text builder text builder has more templates frameworks it can do long long content long form like this one but I cannot describe to you why it's on the same level as creator you just need to see it for yourself and uh, I cannot explain to you also why creator oh no uh, text builder has more personality like you can see you can almost feel the the founder spirit how he writes it's in the template you know it's like that I cannot that's the best way I can put it but you need to test them out yourself Wow 51 minutes so this is creator what is I don't need <laughs> that's it what else should I should I tell you you seen one you seen them all uh, all I can tell you is uh, what I already told you it's a uh, great quality but it cannot do you know long form it's it's not also not good for long form um, that's it what, what else can I tell you about it this one does one click so how to make go posts that go viral I haven't done anything yet I just went here draft builder one click uh, there you go let's see wrong uh, I, I clicked the wrong area so this one it's, it's uh, doing its thing one click go there here one click generate blog post I missed this part so yeah I'm gonna be cutting out a lot of there you go one click that's the kind of level you see in the art the TikTok article earlier but maybe this is I don't know maybe this is even better looks good right one click but uh because this is a new feature like days only days uh, again I use it as an like a creator how I use creator exactly that like for example I, I have a new a, a page or product a, a book description let's say a, a new you know when you create a fan page like you need to describe description <laughs> there I'm just gonna show you the templates so that's it moto generator I'm not gonna show everyone a lot right it's good this is good highly recommended this one well everyone I showed here are all good they're all good in their own ways because after you gain the experience you, you kind of know instinctively which tool is most appropriate for a kind of or style of writing you know these reviews won't do justice to that for short form this is the original actually this is this is the first AI writer most of us gotten a lot of templates right the the long form it's a new one it also works like that you just put the it's also good some sample this you just put the like that you just like this and and you click auto write then it will write so much like the the other ones like neuron but neuron is not like that 
you know you need to manually expand expand it one by one scanlab does that uh closer copy yeah closer copy i showed it to you the you can either use workflow or the draft mode so there viku now this one this is this is your Well, basically, if you can, you find something interesting in another AI writer, you can copy it here. You you get to work with any engine you want, AI writing engine you want. So this is like a creator, creator, not create, not not that one, creator of uh, tools. So that's the raw prompt. So if, for example, you 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 get a good sales letter. A swipe file for example you, you you break it down how it works and you make your own you make it automated so you get to make a automated sales letter uh, thingy so blog title so that's a template how it works this is the training data each one is a training data and this is the output right you you, you feed it several training data and this one, this is the actual, just because there's nothing there. So let, let's say how to eat clouds. I'm, I'm trying to teach, give clues to the AI. So this one is using GPT-J engine. You can also use GPT-3 and other things other engines go here well, all that another great feature of this one by the way is it creates images but uh, i don't have credits currently so this is an alternative to dal e or midway mid journey sorry and then you write sonic and uh, jasper art anyway clouds can be eaten you just haven't done it sorry i these are all nonsense so probably it will come up with nonsense because i'm 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 bored <laughs> and, and so here here's the output you you have heard about eating clouds but you have to no idea how to use clouds Today, I will teach you how to eat clouds. So there. It studied the pattern. And based on that pattern, it managed to do that. You can even do a chatbot. You can program your personality, which is, you know, cool. You try to feed it uh, how you talk, how you form, you know, the concepts. The AI will break it down for you. It tried to model that. And there. Lastly, now this one, this is special. So this is an AI writer too, but I never used it for that because it's, it's cumbersome to be honest. But what it is, it, because it, it was having, uh, at least from, from what I, what I noticed, it was having an identity crisis. It didn't know what it was yet. So before it was positioning itself as a, a smart copywriter, just like closer copy supposedly, but no, I don't, I don't agree. If you want to, if you want an AI copywriter, you need to create your own using Riku and closer copy also, because you can do that in closer copy and also by the way, in text builder. Yeah. But I haven't tried that one in text builder. You create your own frameworks or templates and all that long form so here I'm just so so this AI writer basically it works like this um, now the current the mo most modern evolution so let's say this is my market let's say I wrote a book for a shy person interested to learn about public speaking maybe I should have said like super shy introverted or something anyway there's a lot of modules here 
So I did a discover semantic psychographics. And that's what I came up with. Data. You can do social media research, see? A lot of data, a lot of options. YouTube channels. Let's try. Unlock insights. I don't know. I think this is it. Not sure. There's a lot of modules. Like I've had this for since 2000, uh, 2020 and I still don't un fully understand it. It's really technical. But basically, you really will get to understand your, your audience. Like really. So... For example, you're trying to do, this is for a general business, let's say, you know, public speaking. It asks you those prompts. It used to be manual, like you need to input them one by one. But now you can, it, this is AI generated. AI assisted rather. So there, there's going to be other sections. It's a long process. I don't want to show it to you, but basically that's the idea. It defines your niches. There's psych psycho psychographics, the demographics. Uh, it even, as, as you've seen, searches the social media about people searching for the topic. So really, you really build a multi-dimensional understanding of a particular person. So that's that. That's really what it, it's about. Spy on your audience. These are new things, new features. It always update. It always updates. Uh, adds on new features. I really can keep up to be honest. <laughs> it always updates. This is really one of those sophisticated tools that's so difficult to understand. If you mastered it now, there was a there was a time I mastered one aspect of it, then it evolved again. And now I I just don't recognize it anymore. Uh so that's the aspect. Then there's other other aspects. I can I don't even know how to go there. <laughs> there's a content writing feature somewhere, but I don't know how to get there. But basically, that is the job. Uh, for you to understand the audience, that's really its job. Then once you understand your audience, it will write content for you. Separate it into two. Thank God. There's the web content part. And there's the actual copywriting part, like really technical sales. You know, it creates that because it has like Dan Kennedy sales letter formats, you know, video sales letter formats, scripts, you know, uh, product descriptions, um, stuff like that. A lot of templates. But I can't show it to you because I don't know how to get there. How to go there anymore? I told you I don't recognize this tool anymore. <laughs> so there, sorry, I can't uh, do a demo, but it's like that. So when you create content here, this is like, uh, oh, this this also has an SEO feature, like those other factual writers. So th so yeah, this is a factual writer, but maybe this one is genius level kind, uh, but it's really hard to use. I don't even know how to use it. I've had it for two years. Like, there's so many, only a few people <laughs> know how to use it. Use it well. Like, maybe the, the founder. <laughs> so, it's like a factual writer, but um, more intimate with the person, not just the general data, getting NLP, which does. Um, so, it's, it's more about the psychology of the, the, of the individual. There you go. Let me think if I missed anything. So yeah, I think this will, this will, this can serve as a, what do you call this? Onboarding for new writers or new VAs. And uh, please don't call yourself a copywriter because it's confusing. So I've had, this has, this has happened so many times like, oh, you're a copywriter because, you know, yeah, I write, then they show me samples. I write the content for this. And off to my spiel. The difference between a copywriter 
and a website sales letter long form copywriter. So you're a web a web content writer, you know, to different things. Uh, so there, there you go. Uh, oh yeah, uh, these AI tools, I just showed you the blog part. There's a sales, like for example, this one, this closer's copy. It has a story writer mode. So for you fiction writers, I have zero, zero experience with that. Uh, they, they have all, well, most of them do. Most, or all of them, I don't know. Most of them at least. So this one I'm using is for writing web content. See, I told you it's different. This is a web content, web copywriter, which is actually in reality content writer. And this is the sales copywriter. That's why it's different, see? A copywriter writes things differently from a web content writer. From a fiction writer. I'm not a fiction writer, but I'm a non-fiction, you know. This thing works differently. It creates, helps you write stories. I can show that to you. I have no, no mastery, no experience with that. So for you fiction writers out there, this will help you out. These AI tools have that. I guess that's it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Maybe I'll separate this into multiple parts, I don't know. This will end up in my other channel. But this is the raw version, okay? The link... The link. <laughs> Check out that link. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like this website... No, no, no. What else? If you like... If you like the, if you like this sort of content, please hit like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching. Ah, I'm working on that. Okay, thanks for watching. No, seriously. Thanks for watching.